what's going on today guys we're just going to go over this quick uh little tablet here it is the all winner a33 quad core quote unquote quad core for like 32 dollars i think it's pretty cheap it's not that big i mean <laughs> well let's go over the the tablet quick just to give a quick overview on the features it has a front facing camera there's a power button on top along with a charging jack and a micro USB or an, I'm not sure which one that is actually it's the same one for pretty much all Android phones and I believe that is a microphone then we have another camera I'm not sure on how many megapixels and it appears to be a flash next to it and they're just telling you what it what the things are for and you have a headphone jack right here and you have your two volume buttons. You also have a slot for an SD card, expandable memory. And we also have the speaker here. One thing I could say about this is the, the front screen likes to scratch very easily. I'm not sure I'm able to get any close ups of it, but you might be able to see some scratches here and there. See one right there, and one right there. It scratches very, very easily. You can kind of see them right there. And the screen is not perfectly flat. As you can see in the corners, it's kind of raised up a little bit. All right, let's get it booted up. There we go. We have all winner A33 quad core. And this is booting up in real time. It's not quick boot mode. It's actual, actual regular boot up. We have Android KitKat on here. Like it takes about a little over a minute to boot up. There we go. There's the basic uh, Android KitKat lock screen here. This is a picture of an Evo on here. I love my Evos. Um, now you can go have options to go to the camera, so we can try out the camera quick have to remember this is only $30 so you can't expect much from $30 and I'm not sure how well this is going to work because I'm trying to <laughs> record this on my iPhone 6s and let's see if we can get any, any pictures or something um, uh, picture of my car parts why not honestly the camera really sucks I think they list it as a 5 megapixel, and it's not even close to that. But it does work, so you can't really complain about that. I'm not sure if the flash works, so let's see if we can get the flash to work here. It does work. Okay. Let's see if we can get a picture of it or a shot of it actually going off here without breaking the damn thing. Yep, it does work. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. It's just a little slow, I guess. $30 tablet you can't expect much but I mean it works Let's see web browsing and see if we can actually go to a website and see how fast it is so 
So it's not terrible, but it's not good either. Also, one thing about the tablet is the screen quality is not that great. It has a very weird window of view. Like, that would be... Like, if you're looking at it for some reason, if you, you have to be, like, perfectly dead on. Otherwise, it kind of... Yeah, it kind of fades in and out of the light. It really doesn't have very good backlighting in it. Um, let's see something... Let's try performance of something. Let's try a hill climb. I'm just gonna try to play with one hand here, but so it does it does work. You can play games on it. Not saying it's any good, but Yeah, you get the idea. It's not terrible, it's not very good, bro. Unfortunately, I can't really do a benchmark on it because it doesn't really have enough memory to download a benchmark app for some reason. Um, let's see how the storage is. I'm not sure exactly how much storage it has. Total space, one gigabyte. It was advertised as eight. Oh, well, maybe not actually. Total space, five gigabytes. What? What's this about then? Five gigs of space, and there's no SD card in it right now. So, I figure it is 8 because then you have enough room to leave Android on there. Alright, let's see if we could get any shots of uh, video quality of this. Uh, let's not do that right now. Sure, let's go with that. Honestly, it's not bad for $30. If you want to just like watch videos on it, it'd be pretty much perfectly fine. Speaker is not that great, but can't expect much. But yeah, if you want something that's just like pretty basic and cheap, I do recommend this. I mean, it does have Bluetooth. I'm not sure if it actually does anything, but <laughs> but it does list that it has Bluetooth. I'm not sure where though. It also has screen recording and whatever else is on Android. 
Yeah, if you just want something cheap, I recommend it. I mean, it's only $30. It's not that great quality, but it does work. So that's all that counts. I'll see you guys later.